COVID-19, why you do this to me? I really don't like being stuck in quarantine. I have no toilet paper, I don't even have a snack. Hey, coronavirus, I want my life back. Well, good evening to you, fellow isolators. And uh, before we get to what we are grateful for, I I want to uh, just very quickly uh, address the issue we were talking about yesterday and all the protests and all the riots. Uh, We're not talking about bad news here right now, but I want to show you some things that probably aren't making the rounds as much as all the bad news. Because I'm sure some of you have been binge watching, even though I've warned you not to, been binge watching CNN all day. Uh, and you're all keyed up now and anxious and stressed out. But I want to show you some things that give hope. Remember, we were, we were talking yesterday with Asante, and he was saying hope is so important. So I want to show you that there is indeed hope in all of these protests. I think, first of all, Parker, let's, let's do the cops take a knee. Okay, this is from Miami-Dade County. So these were officers, these are actually a Chiefs of Police Association in Coral Gables, Florida, that joined the protest and took a knee in support of the protesters. One more picture here, watch this. There we go. This, this is what we need to do. We need to work together. We need to get rid of this anger. And yes, I know there is a lot of anger up there. And you know what? Yes, we have seen so many visuals of violence with police and with protesters and unnecessary violence. But I want to show you something else now. Let's go to Flint, Michigan. tell you we want to be with y'all for real so i took my helmet off and laid the batons down i want to make this a parade not a protest you got little ones here you got dogs so what's up so listen i'm just telling you these cops love you that cop over there hugs people so you tell us what you need to do So I'm showing you this because I want you to know that there can be understanding. There can be a a camaraderie. It it can happen. I mean, the, the, the protest here in Toronto yesterday, peaceful. Didn't hear much about it, did you? Because it was peaceful. Sadly, we hear all about the horrible things that happen, the tough things that happen. But I will tell you, I, I, this gives me hope. This makes me feel better. So after a day of, of hearing about horrible things, I really wanted to share that uh, with you. Another thing I wanted to share with you as well, we, we saw so much from Trinity Bellwoods Park in Toronto. Uh, was it last week? Uh, everything is just melding one into one week is melding into another. I think it was just last week. Of all the, 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 the uh, teens and young people who were gathered in close proximity to each other and it created outrage across the country. How, you know, young people don't care. Young people don't care. Well, I, ju- I snapped this picture this morning at Nathan Phillips Square as I was walking by. These are some, some teens who were just getting together and they weren't being watched or anything. They chose to social distance. It's not all bad. Everybody is not an idiot. Everybody is not stupid, as we always like to say. So we're setting the tone here for tonight, my friends. We are setting the tone after watching all those horrible things today and yesterday and the day before, that there is hope. And we need to cling on to that. That's what we need to take with us and carry with us so that we don't lose hope. 
and we don't get stressed and anxiety and that, that everything is wrong with the world. So with that, let's get into what we are grateful for today as we start our shows off usually with what you are grateful for because that goes a long way to, uh, to helping with anxiety. Okay, uh, I am grateful for my, uh, for, uh, let's see, I am grateful to stand in unity against racism. Are we all not that grateful? Oh, for sure. For sure we are. Uh, what else? And everybody's commenting still on, on uh, the video I just showed you. So I saw a bunch of grateful things a little bit further up. So there's probably more. I'm grateful. Oh, there we go. I am grateful for my delivery of my candles. I supported another small local merchant. Way to go, Paula. Fantastic. And I bet you that merchant is grateful for you. So you're paying it forward. Hopefully they will pay it forward as well. Uh, there, there's Shirley, grateful, hanging out with all you isolators. I'm grateful you're here too as well. Uh, what else do we what else do we have? I'm oh I'm grateful to go to my cottage finally. Fantastic. And don't forget if you are going to the cottage, leave the store as much as you bring with you what you can. Do your you grow your shopping here, whether it's a grocery store, whether it is the, the hardware store, whatever. Try and do it before you go to the cottage and don't overwhelm the stores in the smaller towns that you are going to. And that's what they are asking you for. Um, what else, what else? Uh, what are we grateful for? Oh, well, there's, you know, put up, uh, what's Sandra? I'm grateful for my health D down there, just a, a little bit. I'm grateful for my health. And we should be grateful for that every day that we can stand up and we can walk. All right. Thank you everyone for, for being grateful for something. And if we didn't get to yours, I, I hope you, you still feel that, that, that good feeling that comes with it. As I was walking towards, as I was coming back from Nathan Phillips Square, I, uh, I looked longingly at a place I used to frequent every few weeks. Show him, Parker. This is my barber shop. I'm sorry, I get a little choked up. There it is. All this is actually a very cool barbershop, the Terminal Barbershop at Van Dundas, oldest barbershop in Toronto. And look at all those empty chairs. I should be sitting there. Why should I be sitting there? Let me show you why I should be sitting there. Hold it. <coughs> there. Look at this. Look at this. It's a mop. It's a mop. We got a sneak peek right now at my guests who are joining us. Let's bring them on right now. Steve Tallis, co-founder of Stark's Barbershop Company. Hi, Steve. Hey, how are you? Thanks for having us. Uh, Yvette Hamilton, who is the manager of the uh, Starks in Whitby. Hello, Yvette. Hello. Now, Steve, you have no problem with... Well, well okay. How often have you, have you had your hair cut, by the way? I'm looking at your hair, and, and that, is a, that is a head of hair you can set your watch to, sir. Uh, <laughs> how often have you... Uh, do you cut your own hair? Yeah, absolutely. I don't know how clear your picture is, so it's fun, funny because... When, when we shut down on March 15th, it was just a little bit before the closure. We thought it was a responsible thing to do all of our stores. I actually shaved my head. Oh, really? And I told my staff, yeah. And I told my staff, I said, my next haircut's going to be at Starks. No, nobody worry about anything. And because there was a lot, a lot of, um, uh, you know, a lot of unknown and, and uncertainty at that time. So I, I got away with it for a while as it started to grow back. And I recently started to, uh, to cut it myself. Okay, I mean, this, I, I was going to wait, I was going to wait, I can't wait any longer, it's growing out like crazy here, and um, Yvette, uh, so what's, what's going to happen is that uh, you are going to talk me through cutting my hair, and this is what you do now, online, you consult with people. Yeah, exactly, so we've been doing it for... A little while now and it's kind of fun and interesting to see all the different haircuts that people are giving themselves from home <laughs> now are you saying that with your tongue in your cheek I, 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 like, how it it is i i cannot imagine trying to describe to someone how to cut their hair over the internet yeah, it's definitely hard to describe step by step what you're doing when you're used to just so naturally doing it in your head and doing it on someone than yourself. So it's hard to kind of think of what step to do next for the person on the other end to make it a little easier for them. Okay. Now, the big boss is watching right now. 
So, <laughs> and he's taking notes. Uh, did you get nervous the first time you were, you were helping someone online with a consultation? Yeah, it was definitely a nerve wracking. You don't know, um, you don't know what people have at home to use to cut their hair or what kind of equipment they are willing to use or how short they want to go. So it's kind of nerve wracking to find where they want to go with their hair and then attempt to get them there as close as possible. Okay, well, let me show you because I was talking to Steve earlier. And Steve, you, you were happy with, with the equipment I told you I had, which is probably more than some people. Yeah, I mean, we've had some funny stuff. We, we, we've had a dog grooming kid and <laughs> who didn't have a comb, so we ended up using a fork. And, a you fork. know, I'm making this stuff up. We've done hundreds of these sessions now, and, and I should say that we do them free of charge. We're, we're trying to help people and consult with them. Oh, that's um, amazing. But we've seen it all, and, and it's a testament to really the one thing that I think people are struggling with at home even if you're not a great cook, I mean, I'm sure you can make some craft dinner or something. Like, I, well, I, it's hard for people to get by cutting their hair. I could describe to you how to make craft dinner here, and <laughs> and and you uh, are in Peterborough. Oh, sorry, I put the the label there as Toronto. He's not. I, I put that's my fault. You, you have Toronto over your head, but you're going to be stuck with that uh, for for today. But you're in Peterborough. I'm in Toronto. I could describe to you how to make craft dinner over this. I could not tell you how to cut hair. Yeah, it's 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 a lot of people don't realize it's a difficult trade to learn. I mean, these these barbers and, and hairstylists that we all frequent um, and, and, and almost not not take for granted, but we're so used to it just being a, a, an amenity that we can use at any time and a service we can use at any time. They go to school for a year. They apprentice sometimes for a year or even more. They get their books signed and everything. And and then they hit the floor and it takes a lot of mileage, a lot of different head shapes and hair types before they actually start to get really good so you can you can see it takes years to learn and although it's not like being an electrician where if you do something wrong you can hurt yourself yeah, yeah. you can make someone look bad and you know i know for, for me i've got almost 50 staff at my stores and and they take you know people's appearances really seriously and they want to do a great job and it's hard, hard for a spouse or a sibling or someone like that to do it at home on you, let alone for you to do it yourself. So I'm excited to watch you uh, give this a shot. All right, uh, Ruth, <laughs> I'm glad you're excited because I'm not. Um, Ruth, uh, put up Ruth's uh, comment there. It's uh, third to last, I think, so far. Um, and, and this is important because she says, okay, my husband will not let me cut his hair. How do we connect? Okay, so we are going to put the website up. There you go, Ruth. Here's the website that you can get in touch with them. Uh, right here, it is the StarksBarberCompany.com. And, and, and Ruth, I should say you should follow us on, on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter at Starks Barber Co. Because we'll be posting the windowed sessions that we host. And then you can log on and, and book yourself an appointment. Um, and don't, don't feel alone. That's been the biggest takeaway for us since we started this, is people actually being intimidated um, to, to give it a try. And, and so a lot of the time what we've done is actually give people a vote of confidence where we thought maybe we'd be fixing a lot of mistakes. But yeah, it wasn't the case. It was a lot of people like Ruth. Now, there is talk that some barbershops are, may be allowed to open tomorrow. Uh, it, it's still kind of iffy whether or not you'd even get an appointment. It's, there's going to be a lot of social distancing. It's not going to be uh, you know, a whole bunch of people in the shops, is it? Yeah, I mean, we're waiting for some clear kind of government guidelines. I've, I've obviously studied the guidelines in other provinces that have reopened. Um, so we'll need to understand what capacity we can operate at. And, and, you know, we'll always take it a step further to ensure that, you know, people are safe. And uh, we've been touched by it. We're one of our staff members in Yvette's store had a, a close oh. family member who passed away from COVID. And so we're, we're going to take it very seriously. And, and uh We'll, we'll, we'll be back open when we're ready to uh, work in a very orderly and organized fashion and practice the protocols that keep our staff and, and the customers safe. Uh, Yvette, my thoughts are with your staff member and with your staff because I'm sure it, it must be like family and it's like a, a loss of a member of, of, of everyone's family. So our thoughts go out to you and your staff. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to show you that. Take a look. All right, this is what I this is what I have to work with right now. Okay, so I've got the blow yep. I got the blow dryer. I got electric uh, cutters, trimmers, brush. 
I've got uh, the scissors, uh, like scissors from the dollar store, by the way, uh, <laughs> because I realized I didn't really have any any scissors other than to open bags of milk. And then I have this th this kit that I bought a, a while ago. It's it's a battery, um, and it's got all sorts of gizmos and guards on it. And I got combs in water, but I don't have a spray bottle of water. I, I don't have that. Okay, that's okay. We can just use the water from the comb to kind of wet the top and go from there. <laughs> okay, I am going to have to, I don't know if there's a way, okay, yeah, I, 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 I didn't even, I'm going to put my earphones down like that. It should be all right. If I take them out, I won't be able to hear them. What? what? To, oh, take it right out? Yeah? All right, can you, can you still hear me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. All right, good. All right, good. I don't need those on. Thank you. All right, Parker knows everything. All right. Oh, I look horrid. I look horrid. By the way, I'm growing a goatee because we have something called the goat line. And so that's what a goatee is for. We may address that in a little bit. I don't know how, to, how this is supposed to be. Okay. How do we start here, Yvette? And don't forget, okay. no pressure. The boss is watching. No pressure at all. Okay. <laughs> and, and a lot of other people. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay. What are we doing? What am I picking up first? Um, okay. Well, first I would um, suggest picking up your uh, electric clipper. There. And do you have guards that like snap on to determine how long or short you want no, this to there, be? No, but there is this little doohickey here. Okay, so you don't longer. have any plastic guards to go on top of them? <laughs> she, in that little Steve, Steve, she's scolding me already. But I do have, okay, I have it on this one. There's all sorts of guards that go with it. Yeah, they should snap on, right? Yeah. In that little thing. Yeah, so I've got, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I think it's this thing. <laughs> How does this go on? Uh, I don't know. Okay, here we go. All right, yes. So, oh, I'm sorry, you can't even see me here. Okay, so, so I've got this. Here, I'll tell you, let's go to this camera here. Okay, so I've got this. Oh, it is, okay, good. All right, see, all right. Go to the barber shop, like what number they use or anything at all. No. Okay. If you're just looking to kind of clean up and get you through for hopefully yes. the next weeks, um, I would suggest setting your guard to a number four. So it should be about half an inch. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it looks about a half an inch. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So you're going to kind of turn your clipper on. And when you're going in, you're just going to kind of work in and rock out like that. So kind of like you're what? shoveling. But I'm just. Your hair. Where, where am I? Am I doing it on the side? Yeah. So you're gonna do that on the side and just slightly oh, right. to the back. Using oh. a number four, I'll leave it half an inch. And with whatever we decide to take off the top. Just, just a second. I know why this doesn't feel right. Are we, are we on the the right camera there? This one. Okay. I'll, I'll wait for you. To on that. Okay. Okay. Just there we go. Is that? Yeah. There we go. Okay. You ready? I know why this doesn't feel right. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right. Now, I, I would appreciate you uh, 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 the, uh, seeing the sign on the wall. Kevin's yeah. Barbershop of Horrors. Okay. Kind of looks like the barber chairs in our stores. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, here we go. I'm doing this and then I'm going to go. Oh, I got now. This is terrible because <laughs> I'm going to have to take off my glasses. I won't know what I'm doing. I'm with you, Kevin. I'm the same way, man. I can't see anything when I'm doing it. <laughs> okay. So, so I'm just going to go like this. Yeah, just kind of halfway, not up too far. So, just to kind of get the bulk around the ear off and just kind of shovel out as you go in. Yeah. That's good. Oh, okay. Thank you, Burger. <laughs> Oh, that's better. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it, 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 there's not very much. Yo, oh, see, that's the problem, though. I mean, this is a cheap piece of garbage. You got to keep pulling the hair out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
You might have to work a little slower with it and kind of push a little harder into the head to kind of get it more in there and off. Okay. Can I can I take the hair from there and put it here? Um, if you have super glue, you can try. <laughs> it just may never come off. <laughs> okay, so now am I just doing the side? And this boy, this thing is yeah. So you're gonna go this side and then down into your um, back. I'm gonna try and turn my front here so you can see. Okay. Okay. So you're only gonna wanna probably go to like middle of the back, not too high up when you get back there. Okay. From what you can feel and see. <laughs> are you insured? Are you insured, Steve? Yeah, I, oh. not for these. <laughs> 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 my, my looks are my living, Steve. I know, I know. <laughs> but from what I was seeing in the comments before you started this, everyone was telling you you look great. <laughs> okay, so I've just done the right side. This usually takes like 30 seconds at the barber. <laughs> Definitely a lot more work when you're doing it on your own, and especially not with the best of quality clipper. It takes a little more. Okay. It's, it's going to be tough to live up to the uh, standards of Terminal, uh, Kevin. Yeah, that place is definitely an institution. I've been there myself several times. Oh, it's, a, it's an amazing place. Okay. Yeah, I've gone there with some of my staff to kind of watch me get a shave, and they're they they uh, they're cool. They know what they're doing there for sure. What What do you think here? Yeah, it looks good so far. You're doing so should I continue on that side? Um, so you can continue down more into like the back neck part of your hair. Okay. Just kind of lower. I can't see anything, so you tell me. Yeah, go a little lower. <laughs> like closer towards the, yeah, there you go, the neck more. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah, this doesn't feel weird at all. And, and okay, a little <laughs> disclaimer, kids, I am a trained professional. So, well, if that is, don't do this at home. I hope we're not giving kids an idea. Okay. Yeah, we've, uh, we've seen some critical mistakes made where in one session, a dad pulled the guard off to kind of really clean the clippers out because they were bulky. And then he went right into his son's hair <laughs> without putting the guard back on and just put a divot right up the back of his head. Oh, so, oh, oh, oh. I shouldn't laugh. I'm sorry. Yeah, the kid was, you know, maybe 12 or 13 <laughs> and he wasn't happy about it. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So now, I, now, can I do the other side now? Yeah, so do the other side and try and try and keep it at the same um, height as you did on the other side, okay. <laughs> which is the hard part. You know, Steve, it would be much easier just to do what you did and shave it all off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. I think a lot of people thought when things were first kind of uh, really hitting us and it was braced for impact, whether or not businesses would reopen at all or, the, you know, landlords would pulled everybody over the barrel. So I shaved it and I said to my staff, my next haircut will be at a start. But um, I, I even, I didn't anticipate growing back a full head of hair and still not being open. So hopefully we'll be open soon. You know, I, I, I have a towel here that I was going to put around myself and I'm just remembering now. <laughs> All right. So how long, so, so tell me about your training, Yvette. Um, so I went to school in Oshawa and I did uh, 10 months of schooling at um, Art and Technique and then I have been in a salon ever since. So I've been cutting hair for nine years and I've been doing strictly barbering for about two now. Okay, what's the difference between doing hair and barbering? Um, so doing hair is like man and female. Um, and barbering is just strictly men, and it's more to do with beards and straight razor shaves and things along those lines. Okay. There's hair everywhere. Okay. Yeah. It's a good sign. It's a okay. good thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yes, yeah. so I guess it is. I guess the, the, the good people at, um, at Remington are breathing a sigh of relief that it works. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I can see why you didn't want me using these. Yeah. Well, that will get you uh, pretty down close yeah, to the okay. skin, even I'm when it's when I'm it's sure, open. 
I'm sure it came with an attachment before, which I promptly threw away, I, I know. <laughs> okay, so uh, what do you think? Are we doing this, right, Kevin? What's that? We never thought we'd be doing this. No, no. This, you know, I, I went to school for television. Yeah. <laughs> and I never thought I'd be cutting my hair on air. Okay, how, how am I doing? Am I, am I almost, like, ready to get into some, some, some nitty-gritty stuff? Well, we're yeah. getting into the yeah. mullet territory, it looks like, Yvette. So yeah, mullet is great. Like, you, you're going to bring that back for sure. Okay, turn off Steve's mic. Thank you. Okay, good. Might be time to start working on the back. <laughs> yeah, just work on that back, and then <laughs> we're good. Okay, so how's how's that? You tell me. I think that would be the hardest. I've never cut my own hair. But... You know, it'd be easier if Parker was doing this. But try he... to go up if you can, Kevin. What's See that? If you can start at the neck and go up a bit, but keep flicking out. Don't follow your head and go around, or you'll you'll get right into the top. Is that does Steve know what he's talking about? He does, yeah. Okay, all right. I just wanted to check. I've sat in on many, many sessions now, so I've gotten a good education myself, <laughs> actually, since uh, we started doing these online. Okay. All right. So, yeah, it, it, it's you're right. It is tougher at the back. Okay. Okay. All right. So, how we? What do you think? Looking good so far. Okay. What next? Um, okay. So what I would suggest to do next, it does is... you know, honestly, it, oh, hold on. It does feel better. <laughs> it, I mean, yeah. even, even right now I could live with this and then just <laughs> like that, you see. Okay. <laughs> see, perfect. <laughs> okay. All right. So what I would suggest to do next is to take like, um, a small trimmer if you have one or take the guard off that one yeah. that you just used. Yep. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. And okay. And then what? So if you have just like a smaller one or take the guard off, yeah. what you're going to do is kind of go in and edge where you would like your sideburns to be. Okay. Where do I want my sideburns to be? Um, I you, would you know what? Just... You know what? Yvette, I'm going to yeah. close my eyes and you <laughs> tell me. Are you ready? Um, okay. I would go Hold up. On, I'll a turn smidge. it off first. I'll turn it off first. Okay. Right there looks good. Okay. How's that? Looks good. Okay. Now, now we have to look up the other side. <laughs> so the this is the trick now, right? Because usually you're yeah. you're like this. Exactly. <laughs> but you can't do that. Okay. No. <laughs> so we're gonna do this now, right? Yeah, I would say up and over a smidge. A smidge? What's a smidge? Like just a little bit. Okay. Not right. a lot. All right, here. Where? Right there? Yeah. Let's go there. <laughs> okay. So Yvette. Yes. When, when we're we're finished social distancing, I get to come to Whitby and cut your hair. And that's not a request. I'm just telling you Deal. that's what I'm going to do. Is that okay, Steve? Yeah. Okay, good. Bring, bring Parker with the camera. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can't believe the amount of hair. Okay, so, so okay, what next? So now you're going to kind of clean up around your ear a little bit because I'm sure there's some little ones left over. So you're going to use that same trimmer that you were just using. Okay. And you're going to kind of go in around your ear like that. And okay. you can pull your ear forward and come from the back in and just sort of clean up around the ear area to get the little ones that are kind of left. Do you, do you know what the funny thing is? This feels familiar. It feels familiar. It, it, like doing this, it feels like I'm doing the right thing because because what Parker? <laughs> you see, the thing is that you guys are being nice. All right, you're you're being cordial towards me. Parker is laughing back here at me. So what's wrong with it? No, we're just very happy that people are struggling cutting their hair as opposed to learning how to do it. <laughs> there was a bit of a fear there at first. I was just going to say, <laughs> why are you, why are you teaching me how to do this? I'll never go to the barber again. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I will always go to the barber. We need you. We all need you. <laughs> okay. So there we go. Oops. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Okay. All right. And you're going to go. 
Oh boy, I really, I did something there, didn't I? <laughs> Just try and use the corner of the blade, not the whole blade. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. You can pull your ear forward if that helps a little bit. How's that? Is that? Yep, okay. that looks pretty good. Okay. All right. <laughs> now what? Alrighty, so and now you're gonna take your... I'm afraid of what now because I, I know we're getting closer to this. Yes. Okay. That's where we're gonna go now. Okay. You know what? I would I think I might just invest in a Floby. <laughs> if they still make them. Yes, they do actually. I think they were back into production again. Okay. Now what? Now what am I doing? Well, you don't have a spray bottle, but you can take the uh, comb out of your water uh -huh. and kind of run it through the top of your hair until it's pretty damp. It'll just be a little easier to cut it for you rather than okay. having it dry and flying all over the place. Parker wanted to put blue food coloring in in this water so that it yeah. would look like a barbershop. Uh -huh. Or... <laughs> You know, I mean, it would be great for, for the playoffs when the Leafs are, are in the playoffs, but there we go. Hold on. That, that maybe, oh, maybe that's what I should be doing. Now, if we were, if, if they were really on a run. Yeah. Well, we don't know, right? Yeah. What? Yeah. When would, we would be into the semifinals, quarterfinals right now? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think the Stanley Cup finals are kind of towards the end of, um, or middle, middle to late June. There we go. All right. So. All right. There we go. All right. How's that? Good. Okay. You know, uh, I am no. keeping my fingers crossed that nothing happens to our Skype connection event. <laughs> <laughs> Half a haircut. <laughs> we had the power go out once back in the old days when we first opened in Unionville. I remember that first year. My business partner and I were freaking out because there were three guys in the chair with like literally a strike. Oh. <laughs> okay, now what? Okay, so now you're gonna take your comb and your uh, regular scissors there. Okay, I think I can put my glasses on for this one. Yeah, okay. this part you can leave your glasses on. We're kind of done okay. on the sides for a so, little bit. Okay, I'm taking my comb and my scissors. Yeah, and I'm gonna show you on myself rather than my mannequin so you can kind of see how I do it. Okay. Um, so you're going to kind of just take your front piece. My front piece. Okay. Up. Okay. And, and you're going to use your two fingers to kind of sandwich the hair. So you're going to use these yeah. two fingers to sandwich your hair. Okay. And whatever is on top of your hair is what you're going to kind of cut off. I would suggest to do a little at a time, so that way you're not taking too much it, off. You, right you make it look so easy, though. Like, you just, oh, 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 there we go. And, and, and pull, pull the comb up, get your fingers underneath it. Underneath, and then yeah. oh, underneath the comb? Start to pull up a bit, and then when you see where you like it. Yeah, all right. Whoa. Okay, take, now. Take a leap of faith. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Okay. This is where those Band-Aids will come in handy. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Remember, folks. Toronto paramedics. All right. <laughs> Standing by. All right. Here we go. All right. So where, where am I cutting it? Up at high or right at my fingers? So I would go just a little bit above your finger. That way you're safe that you're not going to cut your finger too much if you do. You can't. You know what? It, it's like I'm trying to do this looking in the mirror. And okay. No. All right. Here goes the first cut. You ready? Yeah. Oh. Oh, Steve, stop it. No, you're good. You're good. I just you like the sound effects. Sorry, you, you know, I, I, okay, am I done? No. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do that again, right? Yeah, so now you're going to kind of take that piece and comb a little further back. Okay. And do the same thing. Pull up to where it was cut okay. roughly to, and then trim right above it again. So that's kind of going to be like your guide is what you're going to follow for that. Like, like, <laughs> this is the hardest part when you're doing it yourself. Oh, it's so you're, hard to you're not kidding. Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> I definitely give you kudos and credit for doing this. <laughs> do many people do it themselves? Um, I've only had two people that were doing it themselves. Um, everyone else has kind of been having someone do it or doing it on their son or husband or brother. Yeah, hold on. This... <laughs> okay, <laughs> here, here we go. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, this, this, you sure this is okay? Yeah, yeah are those scissors cutting? Yeah, Cut it looks like they are. You just got to get the end there. there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hold on. It, this is so tough in the mirror. These, these scissors remind me of scissors I used in kindergarten. Okay. <laughs> oh, you sure you don't want to help me, Parker? Like, <laughs> okay all right okay that's two cuts okay. yeah okay so we're gonna we're gonna do this a little bit more fluid okay we're yeah gonna, we're gonna do this a little bit more fluid so you said go under the comb grab it and... under the comb grab it with your finger pull it up so it's nice and tight and then just snip across oh boy yeah, it looks good. <laughs> yeah, You're getting the hang of it. You look the like hang of it, yeah. <laughs> it does feel better. It does feel better. I'm the kind, I'm the kind who likes my hair short and I and I I get it trimmed quite often. And let's <laughs> All right. There you go. Yeah, you know what? Okay. All right. And, wow. Okay. Like, so, so, I mean, I'm not doing anything that is going to last me. Like, this is going to be just so I don't feel so, you know, gungy. Yeah. You guys just, tell them how to cross-check, too, so you can do oh, that yeah. later on or, or even have Parker do it for him, and then you'll see if you missed anything, Kevin. Yeah. So, um, after when you're done, so you pulled your hair up this way. Yeah. Straight up. What you're gonna do when you're all done cutting the top is yeah. go in and check your hair this way. Oh. I'm so just... you can get um, someone to help you with that because that's a little hard to, to do and see, Park but- Parker this refuses to help me. Any spots or pieces along the way of just pulling it straight back because there will definitely be some fun lines through there so, so anything you miss kevin when you go the other way it will stick up and park Par can do it for you and he'll see it and so then i'm gonna go like this right yeah and you'll see if you miss <laughs> yeah. any. and you'll see whatever is missing why are you, why are you laughing at that i i i i am not i'm not feeling this confidence from you all of a sudden hold on okay all right all right so there we go Okay. Oh. <laughs> this is so difficult. I haven't heard an ouch yet, so that's good. And there's no blood drawn. No, so, not, so far, not yet. Good. It's all no internal blood. bleeding so far. <laughs> okay. okay. The comments went from you look great before you started to shave it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take the four all over. Okay. So, so then you're going to kind of work down that piece that you're combing right now. So you kind of did the middle. Yeah. So now you're going to work down the, the side over here. And over do which the side? Same. This this side? Yeah. Right where your finger is, is where you're going to kind of comb and pull up and follow the the guide that you kind of already okay. cut as much as you can. <laughs> <laughs> I like your little giggle at the end there. That's nice. <laughs> It's my confidence giggle. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, I got so used to wearing a hat that it won't matter. Okay. All right. Now, how's that? How's that? That's looking pretty good on top. Okay. How does it feel? It feels a lot better. I mean, I, I like having it away from the ears and, and that. So that, that does feel good. It feels really thick up here, but that's all right. I can live with that. 
that's the, most men's like thing is always around the ears. Like yeah. when I was talking to a lot of men during the consultations, they were like, I could care less about the top. I can deal with that. It's just around my ears and the back of the neck that were driving them crazy. So that was definitely a huge thing for people was to just get it off their ears. Okay. I just, I just want to pose for a picture here. Here, bring my kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now what? Yvette, show him how to texturize. I mean, probably won't be able to do it himself, but it's a helpful resource because he said it was feeling really thick. Yeah, so exactly. You, um, you said you had two pairs of scissors. So if you have ones that kind of look like this, they kind of have like alligator teeth on them. No. There's the other pair of scissors. The, the dollar store had, it was like $4.29 for four scissors. <laughs> so these are two of them. And oh, they're just they're plain the street yeah, they're, they're the same. Okay, so you'll definitely need someone to help you with this part. But what they can do is they can go in and do the same thing, like sandwich and pull your How hair up. Make it look. And, <laughs> wow. and what they're gonna do is they're gonna kind of take um, the scissors and come down and just point cut the ends like that, okay. nice and light, not going too deep in but just kind of touching the ends like that nice and light it'll oh, help oh, take wait, some wait, of the okay, bulk and a, weight off that was a little too much there okay <laughs> how's that <laughs> well hold on all right so there we go you know what? hold on one second because i got it oh. it's itchy okay i should have put that towel on it's now you're feeling like a barber. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Itchy all day. Is that all is day. that pretty well it as far as yeah. that? besides just blending in the side a little more with the top, you're pretty much well good for a self haircut. On the back, unfortunately, there's not too much you could attempt more um, from what I see. <laughs> Right. The back is always the hardest when you're by yourself because you can't really see what you're kind of doing, right? So you can't yeah. see what well, line you're making. I can feel it's long more. there. Like, I can feel that. I don't know if you can see it. Um. Yeah. You can probably take the number four again up over it if you kind of use it like this way. Okay. And come in up like, which like way? that. Sorry, which way? Out. You're going to come in and scoop out like that. Make sure the guard's on it, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, the guard is on. Um, I forgot how the guard went on. It went like that. Uh, there we go. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay. And I'm going to do you, what? You're going to hold it and then just kind of come in and then shovel out. Okay. Yeah, go a little perfect right there, definitely towards the middle a little more. There's a lot of hair back there. There's not a lot of hair back there, is that? <laughs> well, from what I can oh, see. Yeah, it's looking better, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, it is, yeah. Okay. All right. Wow, okay. This is the weirdest feeling in the world, okay. Okay, so now the one thing I wanted to address was this. Okay, I I, mm -hmm. I want to look like um, who do I want to look like, Parker? Um, um, Robbie Downer Jr. Robert Downer Jr. Okay, I want to look exactly like him. So Tony Stark. <laughs> yes. So we we're Starks. Yeah, we can help you with that. I'm wondering. You know what? I'm just gonna take this. Can I uh, turn it around? way and i don't know what's that here hold on parker's just going to adjust this camera here how's that i want to be able to see them them to be able to see this okay so put it to which one where is it down here right there that's good yeah okay there we go all right so you still there I'm still here. Awesome. Okay, good. Okay, my heart skipped a beat there for a moment. Okay, now what do I do? If I, I want to do something with this. Okay, so do you want to trim down the length a little? Like, how much shorter do you want to go no, on I just, it? I just want to, I think I want to shape it a bit. 
Okay, yeah, we can do that. Okay. Um, I'll use my little ones here to kind of show you. All right. Um, so what I would suggest doing is kind of putting the blade of the trimmer towards your face like this so you can kind of see where you're going into. If you're going in this way, your blade might come before and you're not going to see where you're able to go. Oh, I see. So yes. Okay. This way, you can yeah. kind of see more as to where you're going right to. Okay. Now, so am I, I was looking at a picture and it there's there's no hair here mm -hmm. okay so that's what i want there's no hair where sorry right, right here like here on like, the like inside it's, it's, it's just like this is detached and there's a little bit of a, a thing that goes up here like this <laughs> yeah so you can just kind of take your trimmers and go in wherever you kind of feel that you don't want any hair with it and just work around where you don't want those lines to connect. There we go. Okay, so. All right. It's not very long yet, and I think that's going to make it more difficult to trim. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's what <laughs> I, I want to look just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Do you, do, you, do you have all the hair dye that you need? We'll walk you through that next. <laughs> yeah. All right. See, see how his mustache and the beard are, are detached? Yeah. So you just kind of want to go in and do a slight line down. Nothing too crazy. So that way you can grow the little piece up and then disconnect it a slight. Do you miss your customers, Yvette? I do. Yeah. Hello, if any of you are watching. <laughs> I may have lost you a few customers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then, do you, then they do this, and, and I say, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Okay. So, so I want to thank you for this. I mean, is, I mean, I think, I don't think I can do really much more. I would be afraid to do much more because I would, it would just keep getting shorter and shorter and shorter. But at least this is something that will make me feel better and, and get, you know, get yes. through the next little bit before I can. We tell every, every customer that it's about getting you through until reopening and it's impossible to teach someone how to cut their hair or, or a spouse's hair or what have you. It, it's just maintenance. How do we keep it manageable? Again, I've had the luxury of starting with a shaved head, so I haven't even touched the top. And I commend you for doing that. It's it's <laughs> hard to do. So we tell them anything that we can give you just to maintain and get by, and then uh, you know we'll we'll obviously clean it up when the time comes. And then, when in doubt, just put the the hat on. Ron Howard did did it for years. So there you go. Yes, that's true. Let's and it's a great hat. It's uh it's a salute to everybody that uh, right. we're really counting on these days, right? So. Um, okay, so uh, let us remind you of how to get in touch with uh, Stark's Barber Company. Oh, I get it now. Tony Stark. Okay, I just, I just got that. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, um, yeah, so it's, it's Stark's. Bring that up again. I, I, I forgot it all. It's Stark's. Hold on. Uh, Stark'sBarberCompany.com. And there's, a, there's a, a, a great part there that you can click to book online they ask you what you want and 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 a consultation things like that how long do you have to wait we 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 the sessions are about 15 minutes and we run them intermittently we'll block out you know for yvette two or three or four hours and take uh 15 bookings or so and we have staff that have been doing them at every store um we run all the sessions on on zoom I, I did want to give Kevin a quick shout out to our Peterborough and Aurora franchisees who are getting set to reopen and our Stouffville franchise as well. These are independent, brand new business owners who have been shut down after a couple of months of being in business or are getting ready to try and open a business in, in a climate like this, which is certainly unlike anything we've ever seen. So, you know, anybody in those communities, look out for those stores. You know, give them a shot. 
they're they're really brave and they're really chugging forward, uh, getting ready to start their businesses in a very very unique circumstance. Oh my gosh! And how and and it goes beyond the hair industry. It, it goes to to everything. Yeah. All these people who have taken their entire life savings and, and like you say, taking that leap of faith. Uh, and, and getting into business. So our thoughts and our heart, to tell you, our heart goes out to so many businesses that are closed and will close during this. And, um, you know, we're lucky that, that a couple are opening and have, have the, have had good landlords and, you know, have been able to work with the banks and stuff. And so, you know, if you're in one of those communities, look out for them, uh, because they are, um, you know, really giving it their all here. And, uh, well, well, like, like you said, we were all well in this together, right? Yeah. So uh, we, we can't wait to reopen and we promise our customers will be safe and we'll take good care of them. What is that going to look like? And if that are, are you helping to prepare for this as well? What is it going to look like when we get back into the barber chair and the, and the hairdresser yeah. chair? Yeah, great question. So I we've studied the guidelines in other provinces and we kind of have an idea of, of what it might look like in terms of, you know, the capacity of which we can operate and whatnot. But we, we will guarantee that we're going to be appointment based facility easier for Starks. We have a lot of technology where people can book online. They get appointment reminders the morning of, you know, certain shops don't, don't operate with that type of technology. So they're going to have to adapt because we're not going to be able to have these waiting rooms fill up with people or lines on a Saturday morning or anything like that. And then just throughout the service, maintaining you know the safety of the staff and the customer alike so having sanitizer you know barbicide that that blue stuff you guys were talking about they've done a great program where everybody can get certified um you know so so we we're introducing a whole new employee handbook for our employees to be able to just look at covid protocols so we want to keep the store inviting and and not scare people but at the same time we need to make sure we're going to be really safe so we'll, we'll have the right measures in place. It'll look a lot different, um, but a lot of stuff is going to look a lot different until we kind of really get on the other side of this, and rightfully so. Um, so, yeah, we're just ushering people in an orderly fashion, staying organized, you know, checking temperatures. We'll do that non-invasively with a, a, an infrared thermometer um, and, and just, just making sure we communicate and we stay safe. All right. And Yvette, you and your staff, you guys need to stay safe. Uh, you guys have already yeah, had one. Uh, you've already had one heartbreak. Uh, I, I don't want to see you have another. So please do stay safe. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, they're really brave too. Thanks, Yvette. Like I mean, right before we shut down, I had countless conversations with staff every night after their shift at at all three of my stores, and you know that there was a lot of uncertainty at that time and. A lot of people were getting random news from social media. We didn't have any type of accurate data. We're going back to March 12th, March 15th. Um, you know, and they were they they were great. I mean, I'm so lucky to have them. They're so great. All right. Well, thank you both of you for taking this time and uh, and doing this. Uh, I I think you know, and offering it uh, to the public. It, it it's such. We all need a reason to feel good, and nothing makes you feel better than a good a good haircut. So thank you for what you're doing. You're very welcome. We're, this is what we've been doing for the last two months now. So and Yvette particularly has had a blast staying busy and doing it. She's done a ton of sessions, so look out for her. Great. All right. <laughs> thank you so much, both of you, and have a great night. Thanks, thank Kevin. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, fantastic. Uh, Steve Tallis, uh, co-founder of uh, Starks Barbershop Company and Yvette Hamilton, the manager of uh, the uh, Whitby location. And that uh, was Kevin's Barbershop of Horrors. And now I'm ready for a little bit of a tan. That, that's right. And then, and, and just, are we just, I can just, here, I'll just. All right. Back to reality. Back to reality. Um, yeah, and, and there are a lot of small businesses out there uh, that, um, yeah, they did take that leap of faith and, or it was their livelihood. And with, with increasing rents in some buildings are making it very difficult. People's spending habits are going to change. We don't know what's going to happen as the economy reopens. So let's all watch out and, and help out our, uh, our small businesses. So thank you very much. Coming up later on this week, too, we're going to take a look at how things will be 
after isolation is over. And Steve really made me think, what about, I mean, they're, they're a, a modern company and, and uh, you know, supported by a number of stores and, and with, with modern conveniences and, and they've gone digital and online. Fantastic. But when you think about your average barber shop, that's an old style business that in a lot of cases has not changed. The one I go to, it, it's the oldest barbershop in Toronto. And I mean, they, they've changed, of course, with the sanitary conditions, things like that. But for the most part, it's the same thing. You come in, they cut your hair with some scissors and, and with, with the razor, and, and that's that. So I'm hoping that they are prepared for the new normal and uh, that we can all support that and stay with these people. I want to stay with my barber. I do. So keeping my fingers crossed. And so later on this week, we are going to be talking about the new normal, the new not so normal. And uh, are we still, are we going to be still ordering a lot more of our food? Are we going to be working from home a lot more? Are we, are we going to be cutting our own hair? No, that's one thing we won't be doing. If we are going to be working from home, what's going to happen to all the office towers? If, if they don't need that much anymore, because a lot of companies are discovering their employees are more productive at home and that it's cheaper to have them work from home. So it's, it's going to be an interesting time. We're going to discuss that a little later on this week. Don't forget, turn off the news, okay? Just watch it a little bit. Don't binge watch the news. Don't. Stop doing it. It's going to drive you crazy. Thanks for joining me and Parker. And you know what was great? It was people are dissing you now. Like before, they'd get mad at me for dissing you, but but now they're like, hey, Parker, you know, way to step up. All right, take care of yourself and take care of each other.